everybody, this is Ava Salberger. Thank you for tuning in for another episode of Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by 7 Days. It is April the 14th, Saturday. We are down here at the Burlington Waterfront, and it is a little bit cold. It's been snowing in Vermont lately. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it is Step It Up Day across the nation. And down here at the waterfront, we've got a rally going on. We've got Bernie Sanders. We've got all sorts of people. We've got... Ben and Jerry's ice cream that's free. Mm-hmm. Let's go talk to some people who are at the rally and find out why it is time for us to step it up. Come on! Yeah, about 50 events going on around um, Vermont and over 1,300 which are going on around the Across the country. The country. Tens and tens of thousands of Americans are saying we want fundamental changes in the way we do energy in America. Bill McKibben, a very well-known author in the state, um, decided to put together an, a day of action, Step It Up 2007, to call to Congress to cut carbon emissions 80% by the year 2050. And it's definitely a viable goal. We have the technology now. We just have to do it. Step it up. The UVM logistical team did the shirts. Being involved, I think, means like coming to things like this and making a conscious effort. I mean, I... Not even lying, spent sleepless Zach, nights. Zach, uh, no, kind of concerned no. about the whole issue. And frankly, they should be worried about the future. My future and and my uh, more importantly, my children's future. I feel like people really need to protect each other, and we're jeopardizing our environment and our way of being, and we're jeopardizing it for all of our kids. It tends to be younger people who fight against war. It tended to be, it has been younger people who have fought globalization. You know, I think it's important that younger people are connecting with this movement to, you know, to protect the environment, our planet, our future. And that 30 or 40 years from now, when people look back on this period, they're going to say, thank you, young people, for what you are doing. You can only, honestly, I think, ask somebody else to change their lifestyle if you yourself change yours. Set an example for other nations, rather than drag our heels, kicking and screaming on international policy. So It is inspiring. I just hope that, you know, Congress is listening, and I hope that the photo that they receive from our event and all of the other events across the country will really make an impact. They're going to stand up and speak out and be heard and push people in Washington. Yeah, I mean, this is a way that shows Congress that, you know, people truly do mean business. Like turning off lights and doing things like that and going above and beyond and like when you pass a friend's room turn off their lights for them like you know you try to uh, walk more and ride bicycles and uh, you know have uh, you know, smaller cars four cylinder cars and drive less and carpool and we're in Burlington we live in a, in a place where I can walk to get everything that I need or take a bus and I think there is a whole uh, part of this that's personal you make personal choices um, and they are incremental and they make a difference 115 soda bottles go into the air basically every mile we drive so that's a drive from UVM down here we drove. Yeah. A 15 minute walk. No, no, but honestly, I've been, drove too. I, I've been using that. I drove up, I was like, uh oh. And this guy passing by was like, did you, you didn't drive here, did you? And I was like, eh. Merlington is such a liberal minded It's so easy to become. Yeah, involved. I mean, it's such a liberal minded place that mm -hmm. it's like, you know, you just get. You know, caught up with everybody else and the passion and everything like this so you know people are approachable we do we do live in proximity and we, we can even cross party lines to kind of uh, address the issues it's something that's easier to do in smaller closer knit communities where people are are more willing to look at each other and talk to each other and see the same people on the street and engage and you know talk to your friends recycle get your friends to do it and just i think make an effort in your everyday life get in the middle of it and <laughs> make people meet each other and and find out what each other are doing and and, and connect forces and move forward and that's one of the great things about burlington being our biggest city it is but it also is very much a relatively small community so you'll be hearing from us again <laughs> We're just telling our government to step it up and and we need to step it up. We're just demanding that this happen, so they should step up. Are they stepping it up? Yeah, they're step stepping it up. It up. <laughs> Keep stepping step up, that's right. It's only up, we can't go down. We're back, we gotta go forward and up. Hey everybody, this is Ava. Thank you again for tuning in for another episode of Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by 7 Days. And remember, now's the time. Step it up. Bye. I want to feel it in 
Into my soul.